Hello, everyone. Today is 10th of December of uh, January 2023. My name is Alexander Romenkov. I'm a ruling reality coach, and I'm continuing my series Daily Reality with Alex. These are series where I'm expressing my thoughts, everything that is working inside my inner being while I'm interacting with my reality. And I'm going to do these reality talks till the end of December 2023 in order to show all of you that are interested how I'm ruling my own personal reality and what are the things that I'm interested in and how through the interaction with reality we are able actually to express ourselves. And today I would like to speak about a very dear topic to my heart and a topic that is very strongly working inside of me. And this is the topic about personalization of reality and why it's so important we as human beings to know about it, to keep it, and to understand why there is a reason personalities to exist in this reality why this is giving beauty to reality, why reality looks like that it is inhabited when persona personalities exist. Can you imagine just for a second a reality where is no personalities? There is no person at all. It's only energies, it's only field, It's only space, and there is nothing more than exists there but vibrations. There is the oneness all around, and there is the wholeness of whatever we want to say. And even if there is nature or something else in reality, but there is no personality, what type of reality it was going to be since it is not this. One of the most precious things about reality is the personalities in it. And when the human beings came into existence, we were created to be specific and different personalities. It is very important because generically we are the same. We have the same bodies, we have all the same abilities, but then there is something unique in each of us. If we construct a reality where there are only individualized consciousness, but it is like a computer reality. In the cloud world of computers, the personal computer that is connected to the cloud doesn't matter. Everything that matters there is the cloud, but reality is not made like this. In reality, the personal individualized consciousness and computer is everything yes it is connected yes we are accessing more than what we are but because of the personalities that each of one is established to be because of the fundamental inheritance that each one is having is creating something beautiful and unique like nothing else. We have two things that make us different and unique. And that's why there are in the moment more than 8 billion unique personalities. And we are not just 8 billion different computers connected to a cloud or we are not important, but the important thing is the big thing out there, out there that nobody knows, and we are labeling it with different things. No, what is making reality vivid, what is making reality rich 
is actually the personalities of each of us and how our personalities are made. We are born approximately the same. Then individualization of each of us is happening because of the different vocation, because of the different inheritance, because of the different families, because of the unique experience. Did you know that there was nobody with the same experiences to this very moment on the planet of this earth? Yes, but Alex, maybe I was reincarnated many times ago in the past, in the future, or whatever you want to think about. But now, in this moment, everything that you are and everything that I am is 100% unique. Nobody on this planet in the moment have the same unique experience as I am. Nobody on this planet in the moment have the same inner being created based on its own personal experiences and awareness as me or as you. So both of us, we have very important uniqueness that a lot of us is calling authenticity. That is the essence of why we are here to express ourselves in this reality. Since there is no one like me, and there is no one like you that has ever been or there is going to ever be, then this personality plays such an important role in the construct of reality that it can never be, it was never, and it is never going to be replaced with anything else in reality. So each of us has an immense important role to play in the construct of reality. And we know to some extent that there is something like this inside of us because there is a specific disease called manias and called uh, all these type of diseases that are making us to be very significant and the most important person on the planet. And it is embedded inside of us through our ego that we have the feeling that there is something unique in each of us. And this is because we are created to be expressing ourselves into an individualized reality. It is very important because when all of us are hearing with our ears that the artificial intelligence is more smart than us, that Everything that we are doing is 100% predictable in large number to the extent of 80 or 90%. Everything that we are doing is so genetic. We are so pathetic. We are so, in a sense, base consciousness that the artificial intelligence and those that are more smart is actually reading us like an open book daily and we are just worthless parts of individualized consciousness and why reality is not supporting such a statement and why each of us uniquely is supported from reality to flourish and to be raised into expressing itself it is because reality values personalization. If we allow ourselves to live in a depersonalized humanity where there are only processes, where there are only programs, where there are only algorithms that are ruling us and all of us, the human race is just a have, no person matters, no human life is going to be a loss if it disappears because there are so many of us that are 100 percent the same and that's why we are not in such a necessity there is so much of us that our worth is coming down and the only thing 
that is raising our world to the extent in reality that we are unique and nothing else can exchange us in our experience is our personality that is being built from the moment we are born to this moment through the interaction with reality. Usually we think that the purpose and meaning of life is something that is outside of us. But what about if the purpose and meaning of life is us, is who we are, is the unique essence that we are unique being different than anything else that was, is, or is going to be. And my decisions, my desires, my unique view, everything that I can hear and I can see, nobody else in this construct of reality is able to experience, see, or hear. And that's why uh, after this, I'm willing to express my uniqueness with you as well as I'm willing to hear everything that each individual on this planet is willing to share authentically from his inner being forward. This is when we are starting to appreciate each other's personalities, each other's experiences start to become a big and strong asset. Then we are stop labeling our experiences as good or bad because these specific experiences has built me, has built you, and are building our objective reality. The specific experiences that have been transformed into assets in me and you and have been creating our personalities are the one that are generating and creating our objective reality. We are not destined to fake it. We are not destined to change the world or the outer reality. Everything we are doing here right now in this experience is only to be who we already are. And I'm so happy if more people are really deep diving into their personality of being themselves and never willing or chasing towards becoming something else that is propagated for all of us to be or to become. And it is very important once we validate ourselves, our uniqueness, our personality, then when we look at the construct of reality, instead of ignoring and denying the personalization of reality, in all its different beautiful aspects and to start saying, no, there are no personalities in reality. Everything is just forces. Everything is just vibration. Everything is just energy. No, reality is about persons. Reality is about unique expressions. It doesn't matter if the beings are visible or non-visible. Everything that matters and everything that will ever matter is are we a personality? Are we a unique expression that has never been or is never going to be? It is very strongly inside of me because if we lean to this tendency of depersonalization of everything, of losing of the identity of who we are and putting to ourselves brought out identities such as 
some type of individualized consciousness, but we are not the important one. The big universal field is the important one. It is a very strongly, paradoxically, and delusional if we stop recognizing the uniqueness and the personality of ourselves in order to worship and to raise up the generality of the common communal experience of everything and to put all praise and glory into some common unique field from where everything happens and so on and so on and going into general description of everything where there are no personality. I really enjoy personalities. I really enjoy the construct of reality where even the creator of all the construct and the governors of all the constructs are personalities that have a specific will, that have feelings and so on and so on, that have specific thoughts, specific thinking that is different than my own individualized thinking. And in reality, it is very interesting and paradoxically how everything is supporting my uniqueness, my unique adducing of knowledge that is able to come only because of my unique experience and my unique expression and my unique awareness. And I'm able to draw it out of my inner being and to express it. And nobody else on this planet is able to do the same thing. And yet we are so willing to say that everything is common, that everything is the same, that everything is generic, that all are speaking the same, that there are no difference, that we are so common, that we are so pathetic, that we are so non-unique, that we are so standard. And everything that matters is the standardization of the algorithms, is the standardization of the behaviors, is the standardization of the field. And there is nothing more than something like five or 10 general natural laws that are governing everything and all in reality is 100% depersonalization. Yes, I know about this tendency, but it is not working for the human soul and it will never be working for it because we are attracted by personalities. We are able to acknowledge and see and know when there is a personality with specific energy, with specific charisma. And that's why we are so open. We are so able to lean towards unique personalities. And this is what the human beings are usually leaning towards to worship. We personalize everything, even if we ignore that we are doing it. Just watch at all the mythos. Just watch in everything that is in the ancient teaching and knowing. Yes, but Alex, it is explained to them in personalities because they were stupid. They were not understanding what we know today. We know quantum. We know so many things that are depersonalized and we are giving them so many categories. And if you ask a scientist, there is, there will never be, and it is impossible in the construct of a universe, there to be any way a personality. Even we, the human beings, are just a brain. 
that is going to disappear. Personality is an illusion. But this is not how my experience is, and this is not what I'm valuing it and what is dear to my heart. I'm not after concepts. I will never be after algorithms, after mindset, thinking and concepts and recipes and turning myself into a robotic type of a computer who is only to feeding itself with specific algorithms and programs and is going just to release itself its own programs. Such a boring reality it is, it is going to be if we are willing to accept this type of concept. And even if we are trying or projecting such a reality, it is not going to be allowed to exist because reality is always allowing and is going to support personalities uniqueness, essence of purity in order everything that is allowed to express itself to reflect to the unseen where unique personalities actually exist. It doesn't matter how we are willing to label them. Everything is personalized. Everything in reality is personal. Everything in reality is about you, is about me. So this is a very small part of what I'm starting to explore. But even if you remember just this, reality is personal. There is not such a thing as a generic construct and concepts behind which there are no personalities. Continue enjoying and exploring your reality and I'll be really glad and joyful if you can put in the chat what is your personal deep thinking and opinions about are you afraid to personalize? Are you afraid to show up as a unique person, or are you willingly able to express the personality that you are, that is so unique and valuable and supported by the construct of reality? Thank you for watching today. Bye-bye. You can always go to my webpage, alexanderarmenkov.com, and you can see what type of programs that are intended to position ourselves as a unique, limitless beings, experiencing limitations and expressing our unique personalities. Thank you for watching. Continue subscribing and watching to my YouTube, ch YouTube channel. And don't be afraid just to contact me about anything that is dear to your heart. Bye-bye.